So okay. hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the opening ceremony of the 13th annual ISC HBCAI Advisory Council Student Cluster Competition. I'm Brian Sparks, Director of Worldwide Operations for the HBC Advisory Council. And before we begin, let me express my gratitude, my thanks for everyone on the call, the students, the judges, administration, everyone who's helping put this conference uh, or this competition together. Thank you so much. All this means a lot to the students. Um, and thank you for helping bring this competition to life. So let's open this competition. I would like to introduce Negus Sislek from the IC group. Negus, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank you, Brian. I'm very happy that I could be here uh, to join all of you to announce the teams. I'm very excited because I don't know who the who are the teams that are chosen. So I'm just as excited <laughs> as the team members are. Right. So it's and and we've had a great number of um, people submitting. We had a huge number of teams that wanted to come in. Um, wish we could take them all. But right now we have 20 teams in total uh, spanning five continents. So that's all I'm going to say at this point. So that's exciting. So that's another 120 students that are going to be joining us for this competition that um Wow, we, we can't wait for them to be here. Can't wait for them to an be announced. But let's talk about ISC first. So Nagus, what do you what do you have for us? Yeah, thank you, Brian. Uh, yeah, to those who are unfamiliar with ISC High Performance, uh, the conference and exhibition, it's Europe's largest HPC event. Uh, so the event consists of a conference and exhibition. Um, and ISC is uh, actively participated in by HPC users, vendors, uh, as well as service providers. And although it's based in Europe, it is actually an international event. So it attracts uh, attendees and exhibitors from all over the globe. The next ISC, ISC uh, 2024, will be our 39th uh, conference. And the student cluster competition has been an important element of the ISC student program since uh, 2012. Brian said just now that uh, we are going to have over 100 students. Is that what you said, Brian, who are going to be participating uh, next year? 120. 120. So if we backtrack since 2012, I think it would be safe to say that we have hosted over a thousand students at yes, ISC. We, we reached over a thousand last year. So, you know, we're growing this number at least by another 120. So, yep, it's a good yeah, assumption that, to make. Yeah, wonderful. So, um, yeah, before COVID, we used to host uh, 14 teams on site. However, due to travel restrictions for non-European teams, and then later our own challenge of securing funds, we and the council um, have had to unfortunately uh, downscale the competition. Uh, I truly apologize for that. Um, regardless of this uh, limitation, uh, together with the council, we will continue to provide uh, students the chance to learn about higher uh, performance computing, meet uh, established uh, members of the community, and hopefully that uh, you will join uh, the uh, experts in the field in uh, advancing the field of um, supercomputing. Um, there are a few um, important uh, pieces of information I would like to share with you. The uh, ISC 2024 registration will open uh, sometime in February next year. But for those of you who require visa to travel to the EU, please email us ahead of time uh, for your invitation letter, which you will need to present to the German embassy uh, when you apply. If possible, apply for your visa this year itself, as we have been told that the visa processing time in some countries, uh, especially China, um, is rather long since uh, COVID. So yeah, please submit your visa application in time. 
The other uh, thing that's worth knowing is that May is going to be a very busy month in Hamburg. Uh, next year, there is an international music festival as well as a harbor festival taking place simultaneously. So there is going to, uh, so uh, housing is going to be rather tight. So do book uh, your hotel rooms as soon as possible as well. And the uh, last thing is that um, the ISC registration, like I said earlier, it will open uh, sometime in February next year. So once the registration opens, uh, you can register um, and you will be registering on our online platform or you will be registered and you will be on our online platform called SwapCard, which will allow you to connect with um, other attendees and exhibitors. So I encourage you to actively use that opportunity to build your network uh, of contacts, even for those who are not going to be uh, coming to Hamburg um, in person. And um, finally, I would like to um, express uh, my gratitude to those who work uh, tire tirelessly uh, behind the scenes without any expectation of recognition or reward and to the Pittsburgh Supercomputing uh, Center and the German Climate Computing Center, TKRZ, for allowing our teams uh, to use their systems uh, to compete um, online. With this, I say thank you to everybody. Good luck to everybody. And Brian, it's back to you. All right. Well, you let's go to the next slide. Thank you, Nagus. I, and, and you mentioned them already, but absolutely. Thank you so much for the Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center and DKRZ. Uh, they are the two organizations that are going to be helping us uh, again this year for the online competition. So thank you very much for having those resources available to students uh, so that they can they can jump on a supercomputer that's in action today and and see uh, and interact with it uh, throughout this competition. So thank you both organizations for this. Okay, so let's get to the exciting stuff, right? So joining me now is Ophir Mayar, HBC Works Special Interest Group's co-chair and cluster center manager for the council. He spent many years, you guys know him, he's been doing this student cluster competition forever, it seems. Ophir, thanks for joining. Um, Hi. Let's Hi, everyone. Let's start announcing these teams, right? Uh, I think we're going to do the online version yeah, first. Virtual, yeah, the virtual teams first, online version. Okay. Uh, do you want to go ahead and start it off? Yeah, I'll start with the first team. I'll just say for announcing that they won first time the gold award, which is the first place, three times the silver award, which is the second place, and one time the bronze award. And they currently are... Uh, the fourth place in our worldwide uh, leadership list. I would like to welcome uh, South Africa uh, CHPC team. Uh, welcome and good luck. All right. And then the next one from Colombia, South America, has participated nine times in past competitions. Welcome EIFIT team. Yes, yes. But before that, we have the CIUK team. Holy cow. Am I already like one ahead? You went that... one ahead, yeah. One ahead. Well, now, now it's CIUK. The CIUK team. Uh, this um, this team has been selected by the CIUK uh, guys. It's from it's a conference that is happening in December this year, and this is the first time participating. So welcome, and moving on to uh, Colombia. <laughs> well, um, I already announced Colombia. Yeah. Welcome back. Thank you. Uh, let's move on to the next one then. Okay, so just saying, Colombia participated nine times in the past competitions, yep. and uh, welcome from uh, South America. Uh, our next one is it just won the um, Supercomputing uh, 23 SC 23 competition, and they won also the highest slim pack in ISC 23 last year. Uh, from Switzerland, I'd like to welcome ETH Zurich to our virtual. Uh, uh, to be part of our virtual teams. All right. And then the next one is the first time, right, at ISC? Yes. yes. From Uttar Pradesh in northern India, welcome the Indian Institute of Technology Camper team. Welcome. And the next one uh, from China, 
ג'ינאן יוניברסיטי, ג'ינאן won ASC 2021 and uh, third place in ISC 2021, uh, so welcome and good luck. All right, and then from Singapore, they're the third place worldwide in the leaderboard with 17 participations so far. Welcome, Nanyang Technological University team. Welcome. Um, and the next one um, from Taiwan, uh, National Tsinghua University. They won ASC, this is the a a Asia, ASEAN uh, Supercomputing 2023, and second place all, all, uh, worldwide winners from Taiwan, National Tsinghua University, welcome. Oh, all right, and from China, this university participated in the first ISC, SEC on 2012. They're back again with a new team this year. Welcome, National University of Defense Technology, NUDT. Welcome. The next one from the U.S., participated in SC, but this is the first time in the ISC. Welcome, North Carolina uh, State University. Good luck. All right. This is a team from two different universities, Hamburg and Otto van Gerick in Germany. They participated in the last two years. They're back again. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, the next one is from uh, China, uh, our GeekPi team. Uh, from Shanghai University. Uh, welcome and good luck. And from Shenzhen, China, they've won third place in ISC 2022. Welcome, Southern University of Science and Technology. And the next one also from China, uh, won second place in ISC 2022. Welcome, Sun Yat Sen University. And from Beijing, first overall worldwide winners. They've won 12 gold medals. This is a team. <laughs> this is always in the heck of a team. Welcome, Singhua University, the Diablo team. And the next team from Germany, uh, they won IC 2023. Welcome, Heidelberg's or Heidelberg uh, from Heidelberg University. And from Barcelona, Spain, participating every year since 2015. Welcome, the not only flops UPC team. Great team. And the next one is the first time uh, participating from Wuhan in China, Wuhan University. Welcome and good luck. And then I believe finally from China, participate in the last two years. Welcome, Zhengyang University team. Welcome and good luck. And this uh, summarizes our virtual teams. We have 19 virtual teams. Uh, from uh, 19 different uh, universities, five continents, uh, it's a lot of teams. They will all uh, um, use the DKRZ and the PSC uh, supercomputing centers. And uh, they will have uh, three applications. So we'll talk about that. And welcome and good luck, everyone. Okay. Moving right. on to our in-person team. So those teams will participate in, will participate in the ISC event in Germany. So previously, as, as Negus had mentioned, we, we uh, after COVID, we had changed it to seven teams uh, to various reasons. Very happy to announce today that we are upping it to eight teams this year. So great to have uh, an increased number of teams. So let's begin. The Go first team, that is going to join us to the in-person team from South Africa, the CHPC team. Welcome and good luck. And the second team joining us is ETH Zurich. ETH Zurich from Switzerland. Welcome and good luck. And next, uh, next one that will join us is uh, NTU, Nanyang University, uh, Nanyang Technology University from Singapore. Uh, again, welcome and good luck. We'll join in person. And from Taiwan, National Tsinghua University. Welcome and good luck. The fifth team that will join us uh, from ha Hamburg and uh, Medenburg, uh, two uh, from two universities uh, in Germany. Welcome and good luck. And the 16th from, sixth, I'm sorry, 16th, sixth from uh, China. This is the Diablo team, Tsinghua University. Welcome. 
Uh, the next team from the UK, uh, they won IC 2023 last year. Welcome, EPCC team, University of Edinburgh. And last one, number eight, Spain, UPCC, not only flops. Welcome back. Welcome back. So welcome, 19 teams to the virtual uh, part and eight teams to the in-person part in Germany. Good luck. We have a lot of tasks for you. Uh, all the tasks are ready on the website. Welcome to see it. We'll, I will send more information about that uh, later on, uh, close to, to the start date. Um, this is all the um, uh, logos of universities and team logos from all the participating university and teams. Uh, good luck. We hope you enjoy it. We hope you, uh, you know, use it for your career and uh, move forward. And uh, what to say, Brian? What to say, it's nice. right? It's going to be great. So we, you know, every, we have five continents being represented. Uh, in terms of the in-person, we have eight different regions. So um, we don't have uh, multiple teams from a, from a single uh, country or region. So that's going to be interesting to see this year. So that's, that's kind of nice. Uh, Nagus, do you, do you, anything you want to say here before we finish this? I like the slide yeah. with all those lovely emblems, university yeah. logos. It really yeah, looks all, cool. the, all the logos. Yeah. Yeah. Going to put that on our website. Sure. I will, uh, you will have it, put it on the website. It's nice to show. And, uh, I will, I will just say that unfortunately we cannot accommodate all the teams um, we have, um, you know, limits, you know, different limitations from the council, HPC Advisory Council and the IC events, and we try to enlarge it every year. So for those who, who couldn't join, who, who were not selected, um, you know, try again next year. And uh, I mean, we'll try our best to accommodate as much as we can. Yep, we're, we're always trying. Um, this officially kicks off the competition. We look forward to announcing the results live on stage right before the IC closing keynote, which is going to happen Wednesday, May 15th. I'm going to say 5.30 p.m. Central European time. Uh, Nagus, is that is that the right time or should I be saying 5.15? Oh, well, it's March. <laughs> we would, uh, is that going to be still winter uh, sa daylight saving or no longer day daylight I'm saving? I'm just saying Central European time, whether that's uh, daylight What's savings the... time or not, whatever time it is. Whatever time it is. It's either 5 p.m. or it's going to be 6 p.m. We will discover by just, you know, browsing. <laughs> 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 that sounds good. Well, well, we'll make sure we keep everyone updated on this. Uh, thank you, Nagus. Uh, thank you, ISC, for your continued support of this. Thank you, Martin and Thomas Moyer. Um, we really appreciate the support that you give to the Student Cluster Competition. And thank you again to the Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center and DKRZ for your help and your donation of the supercomputing resources. Uh, this is going to be a fantastic competition for those who those teams that haven't been able to participate in the past. And it's going to be a continued learning uh, for those that have. So thank you to all you students who are participating. We hope you continue to find this experience rewarding. We look forward to watching you succeed. Yeah. And thank you for joining us today. And good luck to all the teams. Yes. And join us to the opening ceremony that we'll have on March 1st on 9 a.m. Pacific time, the actual time, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll kick out the, you know, the competition. So good luck, everyone, and I will email you. I will email all the teams, and with the you know next uh, phase, what what to do and what to find information, and and uh, good luck, everyone, and I hope you enjoy it. All right, thank you all. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye bye, everyone. Bye -bye.